Hey guys, it's the Code Nerd, and in today's video, we are learning a concept that you must know to become a web developer. So today, I'm going to be talking about just the difference between what is a website versus a web app. So to start off, I'm going to be teaching you what is a website. A website, I'm going to draw here. A website is simply a collection of web pages. So you have more than one and it can be only one web page like this. I'm going to just show two here but it can be more. So here I actually have this this I have, here I have actually opened a website which has multiple web pages let's see so this is one web page but if i go to this button and click all skip and click leave page this redirects me to another page so this is the second page of this website called sketchytoy.com and the difference between a website versus a web app is that the website doesn't have to have code being rendered on the server side. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out, and here we have a client, make sure to check out my previous video where I talk about the client server architecture and how the web works. So a website basically doesn't have this this part. It may have a server but there's no code being run there. So if the client sends a request just like I did to this website called sketch sketchtoy.com I immediately get a pre-made website or file which is let's say it's page.html I immediately get this page.html file as a response from this server which is just this app let's imagine it's just written in HTML so it's pre-made and servers is like hey you wanted this website you search for it because you made this get request so here you are, I'm giving you this pre-made website, so there's no code being run on the server side. It just handles you whatever you requested. So let me go back to the English version, because I'm not a Polish guy. And with a, with a web app, we have somewhat of a different thing. So I'm going to draw my client here or let's say client and then in parentheses add Safari like this because I'm using Safari I just want to be more specific so you can understand me better and then on this side I'll have a server so let's say I request this github.com page so I'll type in github.com and this is basically a get request. So I requested this github.com and let's imagine I was already logged in like this. So if I go in github.com, I'm going to get this page. And if you log in and go to github.com later, you're going to see different things here. You're not going to see my name here, Victor. And then you're not going to see this repository because these are different for for you if you have any. So this is a dynamic website and this is actually called a web app, this github.com, because when you make a request, a code on the server, and then let's imagine the server in, in this case being just a file called index.js. At least in my app, that's what I call usually call my 
server server files. I'll just open one here, just one app for example purposes. And let's see. Uh -huh. So here it is. I want to search in index.js to show you the code. And here I have some code being run. So, for example, if you make get request to github.com, and let's say this is github.com, you make a request to this route. In this case, it's over miners, but let's pretend it's github.com. This code is basically being run, and then you get some JSON as a response. And that's the difference between web app versus a website. So if I had a website, it would look more like something like this. You would just, when you request something through a GET request, you get back just a file, or in this case, it just sent text. So there is no logic being executed, it's just a simple file. But that's our website, and here we have a web app. So you can have many functions on the server in the server file that will actually maybe go into some other place like it will in the database and they will get some information about you and then the database will and the database will send back a response to the server or the function that called this that called or made a request to the database to get some data and then the server with this data that it got from this response from the database it sends now a completely different or dynamic I should say response or a web page like this so I got this Victor repositories because the server what it did it executed probably some function and I'll just change color some function and then the function made a request to the database and the database what it did it checked for some data for my data at my account, Victor, and then it got back with a response to the server with that Victor data and all my repositories. And then the server was ready to to give a response to the client and they, that's how I got this page. So that's basically in a nutlet show what's website versus a web app so thank you all for watching if you like this video make sure to click like because i'm trying to get more than zero likes on my video thank you for watching and peace out